Hey guys, so it's Friday today. Oh, thank goodness. Um, they did come and pick up the table, so yay. Um, I'm wearing the headband and it feels really good. It's not too tight or loose and the hair's not like flying off. The This is the sports job I have on and it fits just perfect. Um, what else? Also, sorry, the noise. They're just, uh, there's gonna be an air show, so they're like practicing nonstop. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna do a try on of things that I have for Eid and just uh, regular dresses that I own and uh, I haven't really been able to wear. But let me tell you something hilarious that happened. So I'm learning Arabic and on Duolingo. So far, so good. But the thing is that I wanted to be able to type it out if I needed to. So, you know, I have the iPhone. So how you can put your thing to Spanish, English, you can add languages to put there, right? So I went and I clicked on the thing that said, add um, language and I added Arabic, but instead of adding it, it changed my whole phone setting into Arabic. And now <laughs> I'm like, looking things up to try to be able to use my phone like I wasn't quite sure which one was for record which one wasn't so let's hope this goes well <laughs> if not I'm gonna have to go to Verizon or somewhere and have them fix it all right I'll see you guys in a bit all right so this is a really pretty dress that I've worn um I've had it for two years I bought it at Vail and Yes, I would not wear it with this hijab. I'd probably wear it with one this color to make everything pop. And it's a very silky feeling dress, but yet breathable. I bought it at Vail. Um, most of my dresses, if not all, are from Vail. And it comes with a sash for you to wrap around. And the hem, it's like a flutter hem. I, if you think it's too short, I had to shorten it this much. Um, because it is long and I paired it with these shoes and that's how I wore it. I like it very much and I don't have very many heels. So you're going to see me wearing, trying on these dresses with these heels right here. And these heels were thrifted. I think they're really cute. So, all right. And the arms are not quite a poet sleeve, but a little bit bellini. I don't know, my wrists are small, so I have a lot of room there, but yeah. Okay, let me go try on number two. Okay, this is number two. I really like this one. I like how you can dress it up or dress it down. It has this very flattering cinching right here. It has a little, let me get closer. There you go. And I have this one in uh, multiple colors. I just knotted it like this. You can do your own um, tie and everything, but I do mine like this. It isn't the same silky material as the other one, but it's quite nice. It hits the sleeves just right. It does have a back zipper closure, so did the other one. And right now, this is how long it is without it being altered. I am five feet tall, so <laughs> if you're five three, you don't have to alter anything because the shoes are like two inches tall or two inches. So yeah, you, if five foot two, you don't have to alter. Five foot three, you don't have to alter. My height, you do. So anyways, this is what it looks like. It's attached and the band is thicker and it goes in. And it's very roomy. You don't have to worry about anything. And it does have some seaming right here at the bust so it doesn't just look like a box all right on to number two all right so when i said on to number two i really meant number three <laughs> if you're keeping track there you go i as soon as i turned off the thing i was like oh man it's number three all right this one if you can see it has pleating right here at the bust on both sides 
and there's some room so it's very comfortable the sleeves are more of a balloon sleeve um like i said my wrists are a little bit smaller so there's that um and also like if you're having to wearing it and you need to do woodoo because you're somewhere you can just lift them right up this area right here has pleating so that line up with the bust and i find that um a nice touch because they're not just randomly placed uh yeah i don't have a really flat stomach if you can see i have this going on so and i don't have shapewear i don't wear it like i just don't i want to be comfortable um i don't I, like if you see me you see me you see all of this <laughs> so um this is how long it is again if you're five three you don't have to worry about anything and uh, it's really nice. It has the same pleating on the back. Uh, this one right here. Uh, I I guess maybe I should get some shapewear for this. <laughs> but again, um, it's not very... Look, it has a lot of room. This is a size large, but the material is so comfortable and everything. Um, it's not silky like the first one but it's the same material as the second one and uh, i have other dresses i have one more that's a different style the other ones are like the same but just different colors so i'm not going to show those but this one was also from veil and uh, they have really good eid sales that's when i got all of these two years ago so don't pay full price wait for a sale okay this one is like one of my favorites. I've actually worn this one um, out a few times. It's a two-toned uh, faux wrap. It, this color goes around all the way. It has a tie right here, but this is attached. It has a nice weight and you guys, it has pockets. Oh my goodness, I even have a tissue in here. <laughs> Uh, but it has pockets. I've already altered this one, so you can see because I don't wear high heels. So I've already this one has already been altered. Like I said, I've worn it a few times. This one's also from Veil. It has a little bit of a bell sleeve, nothing exaggerated. And like I said, this one's one of my favorite. It's really comfy. This one's also in a size large, and. Uh, I am actually trying to find a hijab that will go with this. I was thinking of something this color, but I'm, as I'm looking at this right now, I kind of like the purple. So I don't know, we'll see. But this is what this one looks like. And if you want more shape, you can cinch this more. Like I can cinch it up to here if I'd like, but I leave it that way. And it does have the seam right here for the bust area. Okay, on to dress, I believe, number four. Again, this one has more of a looser sleeve, so it comes up like that, and you can wrap it. It's an, The wrap is actually functional. Let me untie it so you can see. So you can wrap it so it goes around this way, so you're wrapping it like twice, or you can just wrap it once Otherwise, it hangs this way. So this is what it looks like without it being wrapped. These are the pieces that you wrap around yourself and you just cross them that way. Every dress I've shown you has been in a large and uh, they, now it looks bad, but I, I need both hands to tie it up. So anyways, but this one is really pretty. I've also worn this one before. As you can see, it's been altered. <laughs> but uh, the other one, like the black one that had the knot up here in front, I have it in two other colors. I have a total of three of them in that style, different colors. And uh, just one of these and one floral one that I showed you and then the two-tone which i only have one of they do have another one but i wasn't able to get it all these dresses i got within the last two years 
So I don't know if they're still on their site or they're making them different, but that's when I got them. I waited on sale and I'd get them. Uh, so they should be having a sale coming up soon because leading up to Eid or leading up to Ramadan. Also, I have other dresses and everything, but they're not from Vail. I wanted to do all the same company. And these are my more fancier dresses that I have. The other ones are more every day, even though I have worn this one to like a doctor's appointment. It's just for me, if it's comfortable, I wear it. And that's kind of it. <laughs> like the black one, the moment it gets hemmed, I'm going to be wearing it all the time because it's comfortable and I don't have to worry about showing anything. So, okay. I hope you guys like this and let me know if you want to see more. Okay, so those were the dresses that I have that are dressier. <laughs> dresses in Abaya. Um, I think the two-tone one is in Abaya, which I love. That, like, I really like the one that was, like, extra stretchy. But the two-tone one is my favorite one. Uh, you can make it, like... You have to buy your size, but you could use that um, side to like cinch it a little more if you wanted to. I like how Veil pays attention to detail, like with that dress that I showed you that had the seaming in the front and it lined up with the seaming in the bottom, which also lined up with the seaming in the back. Well, the pleating. Uh, I think that's something a lot of people don't take into account because when you are looking forward especially when it's pleating like that uh it'll it could look like a hot mess just going all over the place so I really do appreciate the attention to detail that they use um and I completely agree with the quality that they have so that's why I understand the prices but uh like I said I have a lot of repeats uh they're the same style but just different colors and so i didn't show you the other ones just the you know just one of each different one and so i think it's four or five uh different styles that i showed you and uh, right now i had not been in my office until i came to show you the dresses so let's do my card here and let's see what it says I trust that I'm figuring this out. I got my back. So that's the saying for today. And uh, you do, you have to have your own back because I mean, Allah has our backs, but you can always depend on him and you have to know that you can depend on yourself. You don't have to stand around waiting for somebody and be dependent on that. So I, I like that one. I mean, I'm not going to tell you how I agree or disagree with each card that I get, but sometimes I do, like I did right now. And uh, I have to say, this try-on, I, I had fun. The only thing I didn't like was having to wear the heels. <laughs> um, the heels are really pretty. Like I said, they're uh, vintage, they're thrifted, but they hurt my feet. I cannot, the only thing I can do is like platforms uh or maybe a small wedge um when uh, i had uh, to work and required to wear a heel back in the day you know and <laughs> there was a thing where you had to wear certain you know i i used to wear kitten heels um they were lower to the ground easier to maneuver uh just so you know i have white feet i have had white feet since i was a child <laughs> I wore insoles and I don't know why because they did nothing the podiatrist is like oh just telling my mom they're gonna help or whatever and here I am about to be 44 and my feet are still as flat as ever um for reference I'm a seven and a half wide well seven to seven and a half wide uh normally in sandals uh, I'm a seven tennis shoes. I do seven and a half because I wear my tennis shoes to the gym as well. I don't just have tennis shoes for the gym and tennis shoes for pretty. All my tennis shoes have to be able to hit the gym just in case I can't find my other ones, you know. Uh, 
so your foot expands when you're putting pressure on it like doing some deadlifts or hex squats so i go for a seven and a half sandals i think i already said sandals but heels i go in a seven if it's wide because um the seven and a half i found for the most part for like around 85% of the shoes that are high heel and seven and a half wide, I find that my foot slides a little more and the heels that I had on, they weren't wide. They were, they actually look a little narrow. So <laughs> it was so painful. I have them for emergency for like, you know, if I just need to wear them and I'm planning on not doing a lot of walking, like the most walking I'd be doing is from wherever we park or ballet and then to sitting at an event uh, because those shoes are not for me for my type of foot they're not made for dancing uh, so yes um uh so anything else going on no i just i before coming on here and doing the the video i had a really good talk with my son and he was telling me about his trip he had back home in Vegas and how much he enjoyed it and everything. So that always makes my heart warm. Uh, my husband's actually at work today trying to make up uh, for the day that we lost because they finally picked up the table. I don't know if, I, is it on Instagram that I'm talking about the table or on here? I don't know. But they finally picked up the table. The, yes, they were late but it's finally out of here. You guys, it, this was a 60 inch round dinner table. And I don't, I was thinking more of entertaining. And then I came back down to reality and I'm like, I'm not entertaining. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't need a table that's this massive. And uh, I got it at Ballard's Design. It's, I recommend that store. It has a great return policy. I had it for about maybe three months um, and uh, they were able to do a return for me. Uh, I had, I did purchase the protection plan so I don't know if that's why they did the, they were able to do the return or because um, money wise it was such a big purchase or what's behind it but all I know is that they came through. And it was a, once they got here, it was a white glove pickup and same with their delivery, it was white glove. It comes with the purchase. You don't have to add it in or anything. So when they did bring the table in, they removed all the packaging and everything and they set up the table where I wanted it. And so, and I have artwork from them and everything. I have nothing but good things to say from Ballard's and Bassett. So yeah, um, those are really good long lasting furniture pieces. If you're looking to invest in uh, something that's gonna last you a while that you might be able to hand down. Uh, another place that I like is West Elm for some of their mid-century, but I'm trying to steer away from it a little bit because yes uh i love mid-century i love the starburst and everything but i don't think i can live with everything just being mid-century strictly so i have decided that in my bedroom i would like my bedroom to be like mid-century i'd like to get some pieces for that but for my home i want it more to be like a mix of Crate and Barrel, like I have dishes from Rolling Sonoma. I have glasses from Crate and Barrel. They have really good glasses if you're in the market for any of them. Uh, my hutch is from Bassett's and it was made to order. It took forever, but solid wood, made to order, soft closed doors. Um, really nice. I don't know how I'm talking about furniture, but when we were doing a dress try on haul, but you know, I guess it's dressing your house. So yeah, <laughs> why not? Uh, right now I'm doing a lot of decluttering. I have a dresser in my, uh, I almost said kitchen, in my office that I need to empty out. I'm getting rid of 
uh, a lot of things because we have decided we are going to be moving it as soon as our lease is up. Our lease isn't over until the end of the year, but I don't want to be stuck with three months left and I have all these things around me that I really should have decluttered, sold, or given away, you know. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm pretty much, we have an app for Curb Alert, so I'm grabbing the crap supplies that I have not used in a while that are still good and putting them on the Curb Alert so someone can come and get them and they can do crap with their kids or if they like doing, if they're crafting themselves, they can do that. Uh, anything else? No, that's kind of it for today. It was more of a try on haul and I think we walked together a little bit in the morning. I had to change my shirt. I had a little accident, <laughs> but, um, everything else is fine. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye.